In this video, let us now try to understand what are HTML paragraphs and line breaks. And to understand the same, let us now go through one use case. So let us say we have a requirement where we want to add a series of sentences in a web page. Now is there a predefined tag to do this or we'll have to do it in some other technical way is what we need to find out. Well, yes, we do have some tags available in HTML to solve this for us, which are known as the P tags standing up for the paragraphs and BR tag for the line breaks. So let us see how exactly we are going to do the same. So we are going to have most of the HTML pages having the blocks of text in the form of paragraphs, right? Now to add paragraphs of text to our web page, we are going to make use of P tag. P stands for paragraph. Now browsers are always going to add some vertical white space before and after the paragraph block. So you'll always have some vertical spacing before and after your paragraph block that you're going to write under your P tags. Now. This is an example of how do you write your paragraph. So enclosed under a P tag, you can write all the content as per your expectation. Now, if I'm going to write multiple P tags, all of them are always going to start on a new line by default. But what will happen if you want a paragraph where you don't want to introduce another P tag, but still you want to change it to a new line? Well, in that case, you can introduce a BR tag. Now, with the help of BR tag, it stands for a line break. So if you see this kind of an example this time, what is going to happen is you can put a BR tag at the end of your statement so that whatever you're going to write after this particular tag is going to appear on the very next line. So let me show you both of these examples on Code Sandbox so that you can understand this better. So let's visit Code Sandbox once. And on Code Sandbox, we'll already have a template prepared for us so that we can understand this with the help of the same examples as discussed. So in the body tag, what I'm going to do is, let me have a P tag. I'm going to write, this is a paragraph. I'm going to close the P tag. Let me probably write one more P tag. Let me say cryo.2 is the best place to learn. Now, if I close the P tag, let us first of all, see what is the output of this kind of a scenario. And as you can see, both the paragraphs, which are containing the content as this is a paragraph and cryo.do is the best place to learn respectively are coming under separate lines, as well as there is a vertical spacing between them. It's not just one after the other. There is a vertical spacing between both of these lines. But what if I don't want to change my paragraph and I want to still continue in the same P tag, but come on to a new line. How can I do that? Well, we can easily do that with the help of a BR tag. So I've commented the above code and let us now try to see the example of that. So I can say this is the first line after which I want to put a BR tag, BR. And on the very next line, I want to say, this is the second line and now I can close my P tag. If I do this, now as you can see, there is no vertical spacing between both of these lines because we are still under the same paragraph tag. The only difference we have made this time is we have introduced a BR tag. What did this BR do? After this particular thing, this is the first line, you have added a break. So whatever content is going to be available after this BR tag now has to move to the next line without any vertical spacing, which is the difference between doing it in two paragraph tags and introducing a BR tag in the same paragraph tag. So this is exactly how the paragraphs and line breaks work in HTML. There's one very important thing to remember over here. Over here, we also have some kind of tags which do not need an opening and closing. And one such example you can see over here is BR tag. We can also call this as a self closing tag. So in BR, you don't need any opening or closing. We have this kind of a syntax. You add a forward slash after the name of the tag. Such kind of tags are known as self closing tags. Okay, you only need to put it one time. So this is exactly how the HTML paragraphs and line breaks are expected to work. 